Hello YouTube viewers, hope you're all doing good. Welcome to this video. I'm Venkat and this is Just Me, an open source channel. Right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to run your local Helm chart repository. In the previous video, we saw how to write your first Helm chart. And I assume you're all familiar with Helm and how to install Helm on the Tiller component on your cluster. And uh, I also assume that you watched my previous video. This video is a continuation to the previous video. And I'm running Helm version 2.14.1. If you're using Helm version 3, the commands might be slightly different. Some of the options that I'm using might have changed in the version 3. Uh, the latest version is 2.14.1 version 3 or in the pre-release stage. So if you want to follow along this video, please stick with version 2.14.1 and kubectl version. And I'm running version 1.15 for the Kubernetes cluster. Okay, so tree charts. So this is where I left from my previous video. I created my Nginx uh, Helm chart with chart.yaml, couple of template files, and a values.yaml file. And we used to do Helm install minus minus name, my Nginx dot to install from the local directory. But if you want to share your chart with others, basically what you need to do is you need to package your chart into a tar file and then you have to upload that to a chart repository which is a web service and then people can add your chart repository and then they can download and install the helm chart all right so that's what we are going to see in this video and let's do that and there are a few ways to run your chart repository so we can use aws s3 bucket as the storage for the chart or you can use uh, Google storage, you can use, uh, or you can run your own Apache web server or Nginx web server. And uh, also you can use GitHub pages. So we will be seeing one by one in the coming videos. This video is about running your chart repository locally on your machine using Helm. All right, so three charts, we have this one here and uh, to start it, basically what we're gonna do city to charts and in here my nginx so that's the chart here we need to package the chart so the command is helm package and the chart name my nginx successfully packaged and if i do ls here so my nginx 0.5.0 tgz so that's the uh the, the tar file so now to run the web server helm serve minus minus repo path dot okay regenerating index so now our chart is running on 127.0.0.1 colon double eight seven nine all right helm repo list so when you install helm it, um, it will automatically add the local helm repository even though you're not running the web server, it will add the chart repository for you. You have to do a Helm repo update. All right, so now, um, how would you, or if Helm repo list, if you don't see it, for example, Helm repo remove local, Helm repo list, if you don't have the local repository, so once you start running the uh, Helm server, regenerating index it's all looking good what you have to do is you have to add this repo helm repo add local the path to the uh, repository so basically the address followed by charts the directory where you have installed your charts and you can do that helm repo list so you have the local repository now so how you can list the, the charts that you have got in a chart repository. For that, you can do a search command, helm search local slash. Okay, so we have uh, the chart version local my nginx, app version description is my custom nginx chart and so on, okay? And now you can use this one to uh, install the chart. So previously we used to do helm install minus minus name my nginx dot uh, within the charts directory. So now since we have packaged the chart and added that to the chart repository, we can use the chart repository to install uh, the app. Okay, so that's one way 
uh, the other way is if you don't want to run it on the local host if you want to run it on all interface so that other machines in your network can connect to this chart repository what you can do is uh, run the same command helm serve where is it helm serve helm serve repo path dot minus minus address is 0 .0 .0 .0 colon 5000 any any random port you want okay that's running so now it's running on all the interfaces on port 5000 let's add this uh, chart repository helm repo list I don't need that local anymore so let's remove that helm repo remove local helm repo add just give it any name my repo http localhost colon 5000 slash charts if you're connecting this if you're adding this repo from a, a different machine you have to give the ip address of this machine where you're running your chart repository okay so that's added helm repo update you can see here successfully got an update from the my repo chart repository to list the charts available in this chart repository helm search my repo okay so we have one chart let's try and install this helm install minus minus name my nginx my repo slash my nginx so that's the name of the chart we are going to install and we are going to install this chart from the my repo in, uh, repository cool so that's installed we have uh, the service and the deployment pod held list revision one status deployed chart app version everything is looking good kubectl get all cool our custom nginx is actually running fine okay so what if you want to update it cd to charts you are in here and the other thing to note is whenever you create a chart repository there is this index.yaml file and the the tar file for your individual charts and you don't need this my nginx uh, anymore because all we need is the index.yaml file uh, that will give you the list of charts in a particular chart repository so when you do helm search my repo it's basically grabbing the information from the index.yaml file and if you look at index.yaml basically it says the number of entries uh, at the moment we've got just one chart in our chart repository and if you want to update your application I think cd to my nginx and update chart.yaml uh, I'm not updating the actual uh, templates or anything just to show you how to update a new version let's say 0 0.6.0 uh, and then we have to repackage it go one directory above helm package my nginx all right so now we have my nginx 0.6.0 tgz and in here helm repo update successfully got an update from the my repo chart repository helm search my repo it still shows 0.5.0 i think you have to re-index it helm repo index dot uh, helm repo index dot my repo one argument path to the directory so that's the directory that we are using or we can just close this command and restart it so it will regenerate the index anyway helm repo list helm search my repo 0 0.5.0 chart version is 0 0.5.0 did i change it cd to my nginx vi chart.yaml version is 0 0.6.0 okay so that is not the issue helm repo index dot the repo path is dot okay helm 
repo index dot helm repo update my repo helm repo update helm repo list helm search my repo all right cool uh, I don't know what I did there, but uh, my repo, the chart version is 0 0.6.0. .0, so that's the latest version. And if you want to add additional packages, Helm, let's say we are in here, let's create another chart, for example, Helm create my app. All right, so Helm package my app. We have my app 0.1.0 TGZ Helm repo uh, index dot Helm repo update. All right, now let's do Helm search my repo. And you have this uh, my app. So that's the second uh, uh, chart that we added. So that's how you add a new chart. Uh, you update your existing chart in the existing chart repository. Since it's running on 0, .0, 0.0.0, any machines in your network will be able to add this repository uh, to their Helm environment. It's basically Helm add, Helm repo add, whatever name they want, my office repo and the IP address of your machine while you're running the chart repository and then zero dot sorry or if you've got a dns name for your chart repository you can use that and helm repo list so basically so that's the ip address sorry the url that you need to add for your new repository all right uh i apologize because i didn't practice this uh video very well i just gone through it once so when it comes to updating the chart, I had a bit of problem there, but I think at the end I got it. So hopefully uh, you will have learned something from this video. This is just to show you how to run a local chart repository um, from your chart. So uploading the chart, packaging the chart, uploading the chart to your local chart repository, uh, updating the version, adding new charts, regenerating the index, sharing it with others. So that's all what we saw in this video. If you've got any questions or any comments or any issues, please leave me a comment. I should be able to get back uh, at the earliest I can. And in my next video, I will show you how to use uh, GitHub pages or there is a chart museum uh, application that you can use to host a chart repository. So we will see a few other videos, a few more videos around uh, how to host a chart repository, All right? Thank you. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.